Good day to everyone. I'm Mad Wantamad and welcome to our video here at Manodol Channel. For today's video, we are going to update you on, a, on the progress of our system here in Bateros. So this is a rooftop system. Um, it's now the rainy season. It's a good thing that the owner decided to put a rain shelter for the system so the plants are not affected and the nutrients are not diluted by the rain. So follow me inside and let's look at the system. Okay. So for our walkthrough, let's first go to the fish tank over here. So the fish are now big. As you can see, uh, these are approximately two months old. So let's feed our fish. Let's see if they're hungry. So they're about uh, four to five inches uh, long. They're not, they, they just fed them so they're not hungry right now. Okay? Some are nibbling on the algae on the walls. Okay? So from the fish tank, it now exits a solid lifting outlet over here. So this is our solid lifting outlet. As you can see, uh, it sucks in waste from the middle of our codical bottom fish tank and delivers it to our radial flow filter over here. So this is our radial flow filter over here. So because this is already two months old, uh, this filter needs maintenance. So how do we determine if this filter needs maintenance? As you can see, the level inside our static bed, let's zoom in on the static bed. So the level inside our static bed is not the same with the level in the moving bed filter. So the static bed is already higher than the moving bed. So this means that the static bed is already clogged. So how do we maintain our static bed? So first, we turn off the flow from the moving bed, okay? Turn off the flow of air from the moving bed, and then we turn on the static bed. So as you can see, the static bed now starts to churn. So as you churn the static bed, it starts to self-clean the pellets. So let, let's, let's let this one simmer first, and then we turn on the flow of our filter in. We turn on the flow, and then we turn off the flow of our fish tank. So I'll turn off the flow from our fish tank over here. So we turn off the flow, and then the flow will be diverted here, okay? So we let this churn for about five minutes. But for the purposes of our video, let's assume it's already churning for five minutes. Now we add an adapter to our drain over here. This is our adapter. So we can adapt to our pail over here. So we have two pails just in case. Okay, so we let that churn. And then when five to ten minutes has finished, we will now lift this pipe, our standpipe over here. So we have a standpipe over here. Let's lift this up. Set it, set it aside first. And then we turn on our valve. So we let the water clear up. So let's turn it off first because our, our pail is already full. Let's get another pail. Set this aside first. And then we turn it on again. Oops. We don't want to waste the nutrients. And then we place back our standpipe. Let's look for the hole. there just takes practice okay but when you get the hang of it it's easy to do okay so as you can see we collected a lot of solid waste from our uh, filter so this solid waste 
you can mineralize in, in a vortex brewer or in a normal uh, aerated uh, container and then let it settle or decant and then the water you return back to your uh, system and then the solid waste you can add to your soil waste garden or you can add your burning cast or burning compost and just put it inside the waste just put it inside okay it's now starting to rain outside so let me put this aside first it's full okay so we let that settle and then we now turn off our aeration and then we turn back our moving bed on and then we turn off our filter inlet and then we turn on our fish tank okay so those are the basic steps in cleaning our duraflow filter so as you can see as as you can see here, the level of the static bed is now equal to the level of the moving bed. So they're slowly equalizing because we remove the plugging in the static static uh, bed part. Okay, so let's now walk here and look at uh, look at the progress of our plants. So here we can see the tomatoes growing very nicely here. We start to see flowers already. So those are flowers. And, they start, and the tomatoes are starting to fruit now. So there's a small fruit here. And the okra too are flowering over here. And it's now uh, starting to set fruits. So they already harvested a lot of okra from here. So let's harvest some. So this is already ready for harvesting. So we use a scissor to harvest some. So here we have, uh, so how do we maintain tomatoes? So here we have a sapling here. And this is the main branch. So we don't want to let this grow. So we cut it off and let the main branch grow. So this one you can add to your uh, floating rack over here, okay? So this is your uh, suckling and you can add it here and let it root and then transfer it to another location, okay? So we started seedlings here. So these are lettuce seedlings. They're about a week old. So after another week, we will transplant the other lettuce on the other net pots here. So it's very easy to transplant. So you just Remove some of the pumice carefully. You remove some of the pumice. You get one uh, seedling. Then you get a new net pot. You transfer some of the pumice here. You add your seedling carefully because they are still uh, young and the uh, roots are still uh, brittle. And add some pumice, okay? So that's how you transfer your lettuce to a new uh, pot. So they will transfer these uh, lettuce seedlings later, okay? So outside, uh, we, they all, we added a nursery. So those are the start, the lettuce starts. So to be efficient in managing the space, we, they start the lettuce outside in seedling place. Then when they grow, they transfer some of the lettuce here. So every week, they get a new harvest, okay? So let's go here. Let's look at the pump. So after two months, again, you have to maintain your strainer. So as you can see here, the strainer is already plugged. So you just remove it. Carefully, so you don't disturb the uh, sediments. Then you clean it. Give it a tap. Give it a rinse outside your system. And then it's ready to go again, okay?
And then uh, let's look at the other grow bed. So we also have okra in the other grow bed. Those are basil and some tomatoes. Now let's look at our sensor. So the data in our sensor is our pH is slowly going down. It's now 7.8 and the temperature is now 29 degrees Celsius because we added a uh, shade cloth on our uh, rain shelter. So, so as you can see, the shade cloth is performing well because it's reducing the temperature in our greenhouse. And then our TDS is 192, okay? So we maintain around 200 to 300 TDS. So 192 is okay. So to recap, again from the fish, from the fish tank, we feed the fish, and then it, it will excrete waste, and then it will now go to our filter over the over here, the Duraflow uh, mini filter. There, then from the filter, it now goes to the gravel bed over here, and then from the gravel bed it will go to the uh, floating raft grow beds over there, okay? And then from the floating raft, it will now go to the pump. And then from the pump, it will now go to the fish tank. So if you want to learn more about aquaponics, uh, don't forget to like, share, subscribe the Madoto channel on YouTube. And we also have a Facebook page, Modular Aquaponics. So don't forget to click the notification bell when you subscribe to our channel to get updated on our new videos. Again, thank you for watching.